don't know my people are well, going nine five yeah you know what i'm saying yeah see a man now yeah living in this society yeah you gotta be able to pick the right woman you know bro you gotta be able to look at your thing and say raw that's for me and that ain't for me you know but like, you see me and you see the man them yeah you see like how oh, man don't do this Instagram thing, but certain men do go on the Instagram and like, to look for certain gal or to look for a thing or whatever, you might find a gal over the Insta. But let me give the man them one little advice, yeah? Brother, it should only take you one swivel up to see what a girl's thing is. I only have to look up once, swing up, and I see what the whole thing is now. You understand? From when I'm looking on the gram to do my news thing, yeah, and I look up a certain gal's thing and I just see the thing, I know what sort of gal they are. You're supposed to see a person's character. Cause this is what this grand thing's about now. You can look now and see someone's character just by pictures, their whole life, what they're about. So if you can't look at a girl's grand or a girl's status and see what she's about, bro, then something's wrong, my brother. Man have to do that. Man have to be in sync with themselves and in tune with themselves to be able to do that, bro. You're telling me you see certain things going on on the ground now and you can't slide up and look and see, bro, this, this guy ain't for me, you know? Bro, I just see this guy there. It's not for me, brother. You can just see their life stories, brother. And it leads me on to the next thing one guy got to me, you know, and said he's got a problem, yeah? His daughter's moving promiscuous right now, like, and a lot of men have got this problem, you know, where their daughters are a certain age now, like the 17s, the 16s, the 15s, even the 20s and that, early 20s, yeah? Yeah, them are moving promiscuous and the man them don't know what to do if their daughter they're just like like fighting against man right now brother let me tell you something there's nothing you can do when your daughter moves promiscuous brother if you tried everything in the book and she's still not listening brother you gotta divorce that like how you divorce a gal brother if a guy's not treating you right and not listening to you divorce that brother same thing with your, with your youth until she's ready to come back and learn the lesson and know what time it is brother you gotta divorce her that's not mine i don't know what spirits my levels I don't know what spirit would get in that, but I'll be saying it's not mine, innit? When she's when she's fixed up herself, then you know, yeah, that's my daughter again. You understand what I'm saying? Cause the person that's acting like that can't be your daughter. That's what I'm saying, brother. So that person acting like that can't be your daughter, brother. She's some spirits inside of her right now. It's this new generation. They don't really care for life like how they once did. You understand what I'm saying? So it's painful, yeah. And boy, brother, but it's, it's the best thing, brother. You have to divorce that. That can't back in your name. You're trying to set order for your other kids and whatever you're doing. You cannot let that back in your name, brother. Yeah? So listen to what I'm saying, my G. I'm not going to mention no names, but he knows who he is. I'm talking to him, brother. She's moving promiscuous. You have to kind of cut that off, brother, and turn your back. She will see that. She has to respect that more than, you understand, that you agreeing with her promiscuous behaviour, brother. Is that what we're here to do? We can't do that as fathers. We can't go ahead with that. You understand what I'm saying? So my brother, I feel it for you, but at the same time, brother, you have to divorce that like you divorce a woman, bro. You understand? And let that go by her side. Then eventually in life, she'll find out. Yeah, when the harsh reality of life hits her and she knows how her dad was talking, she'll understand the true thing, you understand? When you look on the ground now, you can just see the transparency through all the women and even the guys in that. You get me? Even you sisters, you flick up, you can just see what a guy's about. You can see where his mind's at, what his level's on, what he's about, innit? where his mindset's at. If he's just about peace, if he's about unity, if he's about family, you can just tell, look up, pick up and look at a man's thing. What is everyone so dumb out here? They can't see no more. And I tell people one thing, come off the fucking gram when you're finding a gal or you're finding a man. You can't be finding no gal or man on the gram. These ain't places where you find a wife or you find a husband. It's got to be out of them environments. That's my personal opinion. I'm not saying there ain't a few good girls on the gram, but to me, that's not the place where you find a gal, brother. Yeah, it's not no dating app, brother. Yeah, remember, these apps ain't no dating apps, brother. Man, I'm using them like dating apps now. Brother, it's not that, innit? Yeah, these are guys just posting up trying to get fucked. Man posting up trying to get fucked. It's not nothing special. You can just see, scroll up, scroll down. You can check who a person is and check their levels, bro. You get me? And on levels and certain things, you got to remember, you know, certain relationships and that, like, enough of these people are posting selfies and then they're left on the shelf. Especially a lot of the gal them, they're posting bare selfies. But they're left on the shelf though, it don't make no sense. Like you're still single, going to restaurants by yourself, doing this by yourself, you well want a man, you get me? So I'm saying too much selfie, selfie posting and not relationship, you get me tackling. You're not tackling your relationship crisis, you're, you're, you're thinking about posting up selfies and trying to attract man like that. You understand? Different levels out here that we're living, but big up all my people that watch the thing, you know. All oh, my G's, you get me? All oh, my sisters, the real ones that know what's going on out here. And you know, I gotta talk my thing. Yeah, I'm gonna send a little clip that I was watching out where it's just these elders, you get me? Leading the youth astray. All these fake leaders, all these fake men that say they're bosses and that. I told man what's gonna happen, cause you say man, yeah, that are sending these youths out and talking about bosses, these same youths are gonna turn around and overthrow you, you know. 
Yeah, remember the fucking thing and remember how it goes and that they're gonna end up pressuring all of you lot. You man them that was pressuring all these young G's, trying to be gangsters, making them do things because you're too coward to do it yourself, yeah. These same young bucks that you're fearful of. That these same men are fearful of these young bucks, you know, but they'll never let it be known. It's only because of numbers, that's why they move in a certain way. But you're fearful of these same one young bucks that are shooting to you, man, or doing certain things for you, man. These same young bucks are gonna get hot one day and come back and overthrow you lot. Yeah, and remember, we know that's how the thing goes and that. So certain men know what time it is. They're living on borrowed time out here. You understand? For when you're not pushing the right message and you're pumping, you're hating youngers and making youngers do certain things. That's only gonna come back to bite you, man, on the reverse. Trust me. Done no man. Know what I'm saying? You get me? And man, know these real so-called bosses and so-called like leaders. They're scared of the of the real G's out there. They're scared of the real man them that they know smoke. Proper do the smoke in it. Yes, yeah, so let's not get this thing twisted. There's bare young G's that I respect more than bare these fucking so-called bosses. And bare man them that are background man them that I respect more than these so-called bosses because them man they're putting smoke in it. And certain man know they put in smoke in it. This is what we're talking about. So you can't you get me. We just know the if you know the road, you know the road. I will give any kid in here $50. If you can tell me what the hell you always fight for. Talk back. Now, one of them knew what they were fighting for, but they were so eager to be in this game and go to war. And when I gave the order, they went to war. And that's what's going on today. We got a lot of leaders, so-called leaders, that's running these kids, so-called OGs, that's running these kids right. And telling them, yo, we gotta do this, we gotta do that. And nobody's raising their hand Excuse me, OG. That's what I said. <laughs> Why are we going over there? To, uh, fight the, what happened? What they did? What, 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 what they do to us? What they, what they did to you? Nobody never asked that because it's going to make you seem weak. It's going to make you feel soft. Hey, girls. We got to find that video. Yeah, you know I mean, this shit is this shit is crazy. I've never seen nothing like this. Nah, it's already copyrighted. We can't. Already showing her daughter bad habits. Let me tell y'all something, right? And I've dealt with strippers and, and women in general, right? Just any type of woman, I, I think I've dealt with. Don't no woman really want to be a stripper. You okay. know what I mean? They yeah, do nice. it because they need to. Just like really, no dude, no dude really want to be a drug dealer. Yeah. But they get caught up in a situation to where they have to sell drugs. Okay. Oh, I'm down bad right now. Let me go get a sack.